Welcome to the Concordia College Hockey Preview. I'm now joined by head women's hockey coach Mo Griner. Mo, thanks for joining me again this thanks week. Thanks for having me, Norman. Hey, you guys are two and two heading into your second week of MIAC play, right? Yep. Yeah. It's big weekend last weekend. Uh, we went down to St. Paul and played St. Kate's. Um, two overtime victories, which was definitely a little, little too exciting, but it was, it was fun. And the girls were, girls were pretty stoked about it, and um, definitely made for a quicker bus ride back after uh, winning both those games. Yeah, when you win an uh, overtime game, it. it it has to has to do something for your team to know that they they can last. They can you know go and and get those those type of w victories. For sure, I think that yeah, it was big for our team, especially um, not to dwell too much on the past or anything. But last year, uh, they said that they had you know five six games in overtime and didn't come out with any victories. So it was it was really huge, I think, for them, especially so early in our year, to get those two overtime victories to know that hey, we can come from behind. We can we can do this. We can win a game in overtime when it comes down to it, um, we can do this. So I think that just for our psyche and for our confidence, it was it was a big weekend. Yeah, and to, coincidentally, Bethel, the team you're facing this weekend, beat you guys last year in the playoffs in overtime. Yes, yeah, that's uh, obviously I, w I wasn't here and wasn't able to watch that one, but um, I think that our girls are – you know, have a little bit of revenge on their mind this week. At least I hope they do. Um, you know, that's the thing about athletics and and being competitive. If you're not, if you're not ready and pumped up for that team that knocked you out the year before, then you're in the wrong business. So yeah. uh, I think they'll be ready to go, and I think they're amped up and, and looking for a little bit of revenge this weekend. So. All right. Let's talk a little bit about Bethel. A couple of years ago, they were in a kind of a rebuilding phase, and they had a young team. What are they looking like this year? Sure. You know what? They're still they're actually pretty young again this year. Um, they had a tough weekend last weekend at at uh, Augsburg, but I certainly don't expect um, the same kind of showing this weekend. I think that they'll be ready to go, especially after struggling so so much against last weekend against Augsburg. They lost six to one or six to two and six zero. Um, I certainly don't expect that sort of an effort from them. I think that we'll get their best and. Um, they are young though. They're they're a young team again. They got young goal t goaltenders. They graduated last year, um, a senior goalie that we had pretty much seen for the last four years um, in the Mayak. So, yeah, they have they have some young tenders. Hopefully, we can hop on them early, and hopefully, we can take advantage of, this, of their bus legs tonight. And uh, yeah, get after them right away. All right. And how do you feel about the seven o'clock puck drop on uh, Friday night and two o'clock on Saturday? It doesn't really give you a lot of time in between. Yeah, the turnover is, is pretty quick. Um, I mean, just geographically speaking, I think it's it's nice for teams to be able to get back on the road. Um, and the same thing for us when we're on the road. Like, if we had to sit around and wait for a 7 o'clock game on Saturday, um, I like it better than that. So it is a quick turnaround, but you can use that to your advantage, too. You know, if you play poorly the night before, it's like, hey, we get to go again here in 12, 13 hours. You know, you're ready and you're up right away. Whereas... You don't have to sit around all day, kind of letting that fester, or letting that build. Um, you get to you get to go go out and get after it right away. And these girls are, you know, in shape. They're college athletes. Um, they can recover quickly. So I think that we we got them in a place where you, the two o'clock game start on on Saturday isn't too big of a deal. I like it. Um, you know, I, I I would go personally probably stir crazy if I had to sit around all day on Saturday and wait and wait and wait for that seven o'clock puck drop. So, um, I like to get to the rink early and just get after it on Saturday. I think I think it's nice and the girls seem to like it too. So good. I'm excited for this weekend. Good luck. Me too. Thanks, Norman. Appreciate it. I'm now joined by senior forward Sage Barta. Sage, thanks for joining me. Yeah, glad to be here. I know you don't want to do this, so, you know. There's no place I'd rather be, so. Well, thank you for yeah. speaking it. I'm <laughs> kidding, I'm kidding. Bismarck, North Dakota. Yep. Bismarck, St. Mary's. Now, do you guys merge with Bismarck High to form a team, or do you guys have your own team? Um, we actually merge with all the schools in the area. So uh, right now it's Legacy, Bismarck High, uh, Century and St. Mary's. Okay, so, and yeah. you guys just form one team and play just all your games are on the road then I'm assuming. Well, all yep. your... except for Mandan, but yeah. Okay, Mandan has their own team. Mm -hmm. How does yeah. that work? It's divided from the river. So. No, no, I understand that, but <laughs> Mandan's so much smaller. How are they able to field a women's uh, girls hockey team and all 
all the schools in Bismarck. Yeah, right? um, yeah. well, just right now, um, with all the girls from BHS and Century and Legacy, it's not, we don't have enough numbers to divide into two teams yet. So it's just kind of something that's going to progress in the future. Okay, I got you. Yeah. Well, anyway, why Concordia? Uh, Concordia because, um, so I actually went to St. Mary's in Bismarck, which is a small school. Mm -hmm. And um, I just like the atmosphere of Concordia because it was a, was a smaller campus. So um, the class size especially just because if I went to a bigger school, I don't think I would show up to class. But, <laughs> yeah. Did hockey play a part in that at all? Yep, it did. And it's only two and a half hours away, so I wanted to stay close. Okay. What's yeah. the what's what's the atmosphere like on the team? Like what's your role on the team? Like you guys close, you guys hang out all the time? Um, I would say we're talkers. We're big communicators and um especially me if I see someone down, it's I can always like get them into a good mood. So yeah, talkative, so Okay. Well, that's good. So, talk a little bit about tonight's game, Bethel. Knock you guys out of the playoffs last season. Yes. Kind of a, kind of a lucky shot there. Mm -hmm. Talk yeah. a little bit about them. What, what are you hoping to achieve tonight other than a, a W? Um, I think just going into this weekend is, um, since it's early on, it's points that we should be able to win. Um, like Mo said, it is a young goalie. Um, and so just kind of like, that transition from high school hockey to college hockey is going to be different for her. So I think if we go out there right away, it's going to be something that um, we're capable of achieving to win. So. Okay, and you're a mass communications major. I am. But you want to get into medical sales. Yep. Okay. And tell so, me a little bit um, about that. So right now, like after school, I want to be uh, more of a like recruiting, and so with medical sales, I want to go off and. Um, kind of be like the recruiter for uh, medical sales reps. Okay. Yeah, and so our old assistant coach, um, Brian Lee, did that, and uh, so that's. Yeah, I was gonna ask that next. You answer my next yeah. question. Yeah, and so it's, um, it's a successful business, um, so it could be down in the cities or even in Denver, but. Okay, and there's quite a few hockey players that he works with. Yes. Yeah. So you'll fit right in. I, I hope so. <laughs> Well, good luck tonight, Sage, and yes, thanks for joining me. Yeah, thank you. That's senior forward, Sage Barta. This has been the Concordia College Hockey Weekend.